I hope you're doing good. Get a clue, because it's very it's not true. <laughs> my last name was true. My artist name. I went from reason to raw reason. I don't know where I got raw reason from. We ain't gonna talk about Egypt right now. I went from reason to raw reason to true reason. So I was like, yo, fuck all these reasons shit, I'm out. And I went to Varys, and I'm officially Varys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> but um, we're out here. It's a good vibe, it's a good day. I might take that trail. Eh, maybe on the way back. But um, it's 420, y'all, happy 420. Woo! This is the day I'm recording this video. This first one. I don't know about the rest of them, they might have been recorded today, they might have not, who knows. But at the end of the day, today's message is gonna be something simple. Since it's 420, I feel like I might as well talk something about that but not really that i'm gonna talk about herbs herbs in general no not bud herbs <laughs> is a difference there's a lot of things that people don't realize nowadays that you can really heal yourself with and by and one of those things is holistic healing holistic healing is herbs remedies natural remedies teas instead of going to the doctor and getting prescription drugs and getting these prescribed drugs. They have all these thousands of side effects that they fix one thing, but then they break a thousand fifty other things. You know when you go to the mechanic and you give him your car and you're like, bro, I need an oil change. And buddy's like, I got you. Buddy changes your oil, buddy breaks your what's the randomest thing that does make that makes no sense with oil? Buddy changes your oil and one of your tires just mysteriously pops. You're like, he's like, damn bro, I was changing your oil and and when I went to the back, after I finished, I realized one of your tires was popped. What? What the fuck? Bro, you was changing my oil, how my tire pop? You didn't even drive the car? What the? Anyways, my point with that though, like basically that's the same thing they do at the hospital, at the doctors. They basically sometimes in the majority of the time, they don't look for the underlying root cause of something and attack that head on, the challenge. They look for what people like to call the problems. And the thing about the problems is these problems are something that can be solved, but they're giving you temporary solutions because they're not even going to last long. And if, if they're even solutions, because majority of the time, the medicine that they give you does not work. It's placebo effect. What is placebo? That means you believe it's going to work. So it works. Like when you tell yourself, I know today's going to be a good day and it's a good day. You told yourself it was going to be a good day. Of course it was a good day. When you drink and you tell my and you tell yourself, damn, I'm gonna throw up tonight, your mind is already now thinking about throwing up. So now at some point in the night, you probably gonna throw up. There's like a 90% chance you're gonna throw up. Unless you stop drinking, of course you're not gonna throw up. But my point with that, let me switch the view real quick. So my point with that, holistic healing, herbs, you know, all of that really comes into play when it comes to self-care, when it comes to healing yourself, when it comes to taking care of yourself, because all these diseases and viruses and everything, and I won't say everything in the entire world because I'm not God and I'm not a scientist. So I'm not here giving you like, I'm not gonna give you scientific proof. I just know all this works. Look up Dr. Sebi. That's all I gotta say. You look him up and you research him and you'll really know what I'm talking about. But um, Nipsey, Nipsey actually put me on to Dr. Sebi. Nipsey's a huge inspiration of mine. I'm gonna make the next video on Nipsey. But um, yeah, just wanted to tell y'all that. Just look into more into holistic healing, look into herbs, look into Moringa, look into spirulina, look into all of these different plants that gives you all these different beautiful effects that really bless your body, that really transform your body, that really help you and are the opposite of what all these doctor and prescription drugs do. Xanax, Percocets, all of that shit. Dog, I've had people like die off of fucking Percocets. I've had people die off of Xanax. I've had people, I know people that have overdose on heroin, like, and I'm not approving any of those. Of course, I'm disapproving all of them. That's the reason why I'm mentioning this. And like, this isn't a drug video, but it's just related because I'm talking about holistic healing and medicine in general. Um, so yeah, what I would say is like, you know, just be careful with what you do, you know? Cause like I did, what's this guy doing? Okay. I did like in high school, I didn't do any of those pills. I don't think I've ever done any pills except for maybe painkillers, like when I was younger and shit, you know, just for pain, like whether it's whatever kind of pain it was, but I had a boy. So this is my last story. This will be my last, this will be my outro. I have a little story. I had a boy, his name was Manny, Emmanuel to be exact, um, in high school and middle school. And in middle school, I used to get bullied. That'll be a whole different conversation for a whole different episode to help you guys deal with bullying. But um, it helped me grow a lot and I became the person I am today and I'm like less affected by people's shit and I'm more cold when I choose to be. 
because I have a huge and open heart, but at the same time, I can close it real quick and real fast. But um, yeah, in this world, like I realized that because of the fact that someone like him, so wait, back to the point, my apologies, before I go on a tangent or something. But with Manny, like he was always a good kid. He was nice. I think he was a dealer or stuff. I'm not really 100% sure, but I know for a fact that he was a good human. He was kind, he was caring, he looked out for people. He always genuinely wanted to have fun, get lit, just have a good time, just go out. And he always did what he could for other people, regardless of how they felt about it or regardless of how he was viewed. He never cared about how he was viewed. He didn't allow people to judge him. It's the reason I love doing these because it's like, I'm allowing you to judge me, but at the same time, it's like, I don't care what you say. Like with all due respect, obviously if you're giving me criticism or feedback or encouragement, I really care. But if you're hating, like if you're hating, if you're just judging to judge, if you're just being negative, like, I don't care. Like, I'll just literally walk it off. But um, my point with the story, Manny and me were friends since middle school. He used to protect me a lot or he used to help me a lot when I get bullied and shit. And we stayed friends in high school. And I believe it was ninth, if not 10th grade year that um, he passed away. And he actually passed away from a Xanax overdose. So the reason that I say that is because I don't say that to scare you. I don't say that to fuck you up. I don't say that to be rude. I say that one, to pay tributes to him. Rest in peace to him, rest in power to him. I appreciate him and thank you to everything he's done for me. I know he still lives on and his legacy will always live on, my boy Manny. But um, I say that because it's like, this is serious. You know, this is really serious. The drug shit is serious. Like taking prescription drugs is serious. Like holistic healing is serious. Like all of this shit is serious. Like. If you really take it serious, it's really going to change your life and help you in a positive way. And you won't have to take all those prescription drugs anymore, or you'll find healthy, natural substitutes for them. Maybe not all of them, but at least a good 80 to 90 percent at the minimum, if not 100, you know. But anyways, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Happy 420. This video is a little longer, but that's OK. We'll do this one as a Monday motivation. Love you all.